Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbish rahli sadri, wa yassir li amri, wa ahlu luqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you all, brothers and sisters. Now, as I have said before, the key is extremely important. Read every word in the key and every line in the key. Slowly, slowly. And inshallah, you will see there is so much information there in the key. So, Later on, we are going to read a little bit of key also. Keep the key handy on your, in, uh, in front of you, brothers and sisters. Now, in this lesson number 16, we did a little bit of it yesterday. We are coming across a verb which is mazid fihi, derived verb. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In which there are more than three letters. And what is the verb that we did, brothers and sisters? What did we do, brothers and sisters? Arad. When you will see Hamzatul Kata, okay, coming in the beginning, then it is form 4. Hamzatul Kata comes only in form 4. Arada. Okay, can you conjugate quickly, brothers and sisters? Arada, arada, aradu, aradat, aradata, aradna. How did you get aradna? As soon as you put noon here, you gave a sukun here. But then, there is a sukoon on alif also. So we dropped it. And it became aradna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Aradna. So, if we know aradna, and then, brothers and sisters, aratta, arattuma, arattum, aratti, arattuma, arattunna, arattu, aradna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So you will know how it conjugates. Huh? Now we come to Mudarya. 
there are four letters. So the alamatu mudarya will get a dhamma. What will it get, brothers and sisters? Dhamma. You re do. Okay? Ready? Yuridu, Yuridani, Yuriduna, Turidu, Turidani, Yuridna. Now you know why Yuridna. Very important. Huh? Okay? Again, I put Nunu Niswa here, which will result in Dal getting a Sukun. As soon as I give Dal a Sukun, we are we end up with two letters with sukun. Iltikai sakinaini. Meeting of the two sukuns. That is not permissible in Arabic because you can't read them. So you drop the weak letter. What will you drop? If there is a ya or wow, you will drop it. Okay? So what is left now? Yuridna. Huh? Yuridna. How will I describe Yuridna? Felun. Mudariyun, Mabniyun. What will you say? Felun, Mudariyun, Mabniyun ala Sukun. Mabniyun ala Sukun. And then you will describe, if it is Marfu, you will say, Fi Mahali Rafin. If it is Majzum, you will say, Fi Mahali Jasmine. But it is Mabni. Remember, huh? inshallah. Fine. So, brother, we are here at Yuridna Anta. Turidu, Turidani, Turiduna, Anti, Turidina, Turidina, Antunna, Turidna, Ana, Uridu, Nahnu, Nuridu. MashaAllah. So, you know it, huh? inshallah. So, watch for it, brothers and sisters. The father is talking to his children. First, he is talking to his sons. Al-Abu. Aturiduna shayyan min as-suki ya abnai. If I were to anal uh, analyze Turiduna, how will I analyze? Fehlun, mudhariun, marfuun, bi thubutinun. And where is the file? Wow. wow. Got the idea, brother and sister? Very good. How will you translate? Do you want anything from the market? Huh? Oh, my children. Ana al ana. Ana al ana. Adhabu ila al masjid. Translation, brother. I am now going to the masjid. Wasa azhabu. And I will go. Ila suki baada salati. Huh? Inshallah. I am sure you are able to translate it. Huh? Yes, you have any question, brother? Yes, brother. Al-Ana. Yeah. What role does it play there? It's a zarf. Yes, sir. It's a zarfu zaman. Yes. What will you say? Yes. Zarfu. But it is not followed by a noun. So yes. it's not mudaf mudafili. No, it is. It is just zarf. You will say zarfu zaman. What will you say, brother? Zarfu There will be zarfu zaman and zarfu makan also. You know? So zarfu zaman. Okay? Fine, brother and sister. There is a huge lesson of about 10 to 12 pages dealing only with Zarf in book 3. We will learn in detail everything that has to be learned about Zarf. It will come inshallah in book 3. al the children. Naam, Nuridu Ashia'a Kathiratun. Brothers and sisters, here is something now you have to understand. If you read the key, everything is there. But I am writing it here, brother. Shayun, singular. What is the plural? Ash. Ya. U. Do you see single Dhamma there? What does it mean? It is dipped out. Huh? Ashya. So, Nuridu, we want, want what? Ashya. Ah. Mafulun bihi. Are you with me, brother? Mafulun bihi. Kathiratan. What is Kathiratan? 
Not. Why it is tan here? No, why not it is plural? Kullu jama muannas. Very good. Al Abu, Maza turidu ya Omar. Brothers and sisters, there is a lot to learn about this form of uh, this form of noun. There is a lot to learn, and inshallah, we'll read the key and I, I'll let you highlight some things. Umar, Umar. it is actually Umaru. This is also deep throat. Uh, decline it, brother. Umaru, Umara. Umara, we have to remember that. Huh? Fine. So, Maza Turidu Ya Umar. Now, Umar is replying, Uridu Kalaman. I want pen. Fine. Ama Indaka Kalamun. Translation, brothers? Don't you have a pen? Bala. Indeed, yes. Huh? Remember? Bala, when the question is in negation and the answer is in affirmation, you will say Bala. Indeed, yes. In the Kalamun Azraku. I have a blue pen. Uridu Kalaman Ahmara. Okay, the colors are also diptors. Huh? Ahmara. Okay. Now, colors, we have Mwanas. And Muzakkar. This is where we are going to learn in detail, inshallah. Fine. Ahmara. What is Ahmara? Naat. Huh? For Kalam. Very good. Maza turidu anta ya amru. See, Umar and amru. Huh? Of course, we don't, in Canada, we don't hear this. Uh, Thing. Now, this is not dipped out, brothers and sisters. This is Amrun. Are you with me? This is not dipped out. There is an explanation for this. Try to understand as much as you can. But because this name is not common in our surroundings, this is the most common name we come across. Dr. Abdurim has just mentioned it. We'll try to understand. Why do you have extra vow? It is not read. It is not pronounced. It is only written. Why? Just to differentiate between these two. Huh? Actually, it is Amrun. And if you say Ya, then one Dhamma has to go away. So if you, there is no vow, it will be very close to Omar. In order to differentiate, there is a spelling rule in this. Okay? Inshallah, you will keep this in mind and follow it. Okay? So, Maza Turidu Anta Ya Amar. Amrun says, Uridu Daftaran. I need a notebook. Amashtaraitu Remember I told you, uh, we did yesterday, I'll do it again. Ish tara. What will be the mudarya? Yash tari. Huh? Mudarya will be yash tari. Okay, brothers and sisters. Again, as you can see, the Lam Kalima is a weak letter. It will not conjugate in a normal way. So we are going to leave it. Ishtara, if you put Nunu Niswa there, what will happen? Ishtaraina. Huh? Are you with me? As soon as you put Nunu Niswa there, it will become Ishtaraina. And then we can conjugate. Now, Yashtari, brothers and sisters, is your mudarya. At least one thing is very easy. What is that? Five in your pocket. That's very easy. 
Okay? So, brother, Yashtari, he purchases. Tashtari, she purchases. And Tashtari, you are purchasing. Ashtari, I am purchasing. Nashtari, we are purchasing. So, brothers and sisters, Yashtari, Tashtari, Tashtari, Ashtari, Nashtari. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, here it is, Ama Ishtaraitu. And we, and remember, this is form 8. Remember? Form 8. Okay? And this is Hamzatul Wasal. Anything comes before it, you will not pronounce the Hamzatul Wasal. So we have here Ma. How will you say now? Mashtaraitu. A mashtaraitu laka daftaran filusbu el maadi. Translation, brother. Did I not purchase for you the notebook last week? Bala, yes indeed. Bala kinna za kat daftara. I would like you to put a comma after daftara. Huh? So that mentally you separate them. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? La kinna min akhwatu inna zaka ismu la kinna mansubun. Mashallah. Always we will mention it mansub. Huh? Okay. And then a daftara. Brother Muhammad, what is daftara? Zaka daftara. Badal, mashallah. Badal, brother. Very good. And now there's a new sentence. It is Jumla Ishmiya. And that Jumla Ishmiya is the khabar for Lakinna. Varakuhu, varaku mubtida, mudaf, hu mudaf ilahi, ghayru. That is your khabar. And then, musattarin, lined. Ghayru musattarin, unlined. You know, without lines, okay? Brothers and sisters, remember ghayru can be ghayra, can be ghayri. It will decline properly and it will always come as a mudaf. Now, we have to remember this and you will see it inshallah. In Quran also it will come and you will see it inshallah. Okay? But that daftar, huh? the pages were unlined. Huh? So that varakuhu ghairu musattarin is the whole jumla coming as a khabar for lakinna. Huh? Inshallah. Uridu daftaran. Uridu daftaran. I need one notebook. Now what will you say, brother? Za. What is za? Is a naat here. Huh? Za is the mansu form of zu. Huh? Inshallah, we are going to learn a lot about this. First, I should say, zu, then, za, and then, zi. Inshallah, we'll understand. Huh? So, za is your naat for daftaran, and it is mudaf. Warakin is mudaf ilahi, and musattarin is your naat for warakin. Fine. Alabu. Maza turidu anta ya isham. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Maza turidu anta ya Hisham. Hisham, what do you want? Ana ma uridu shayyan al-ana. But remember, ma, remember we have said, when do you use ma in mudariya? It is only for the present time. For the time being, I don't need anything. He doesn't want to say, I will never need anything from the market. No. Ma uridu shayyan al I don't need. Maybe later on I will need, but right now I don't need anything. So you will notice that the fail is mudarya. The negation was done by ma, but at the same time al was also used to indicate that for the time being I don't need anything. Okay? I would like you to highlight ma. And al ana Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You must get the best highlighter. Don't buy cheap highlighters. Next time when you buy, buy the best quality of highlighters. Aina Ahu Kal Hussein. 
Where is your brother Hussein? Akhuka. And then Al Hussein. What is Al Hussein here, brother Abdul Samad? No. Badal, mashallah. Badal, brother. It's Badal. Okay? Hisham, who are fil hammami. He is in the. Who are muftida fil hammami. Jar majroor, shibu jumla khabar. Aina yasirun. Lesson number four, book one. Aina yasirun, who are fil hammami. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Maza yuridu huwa. See? It was Turidu, now it is Maza Yuridu Hua. What does he want? Hua huh? Yuridu Halawa. Oh, brother. We are not the only people who like Halwa. <laughs> now, Halawa is a plural here. Remember, it is a plural here. Huh? Sweets. Huh? This is plural here. Now he comes to the daughters. Brothers and sisters, I would like you to think a little bit about the dialogue. How cleverly Dr. Abdurrahim is constructing the dialogue. All the verbs are coming in the same Yuridu, Turidu. Huh? You won't find this in any other book. In every in other books, brother, they bring everything together. They bring all the things together and it becomes very confusing. But with the Dr. Abdurrahim's approach, one thing at a time. When he wants to explain us, he will explain only that thing in detail. And that makes the lessons very interesting and very informative. And we learn a lot from his method, you know. Now, when you are talking to your daughters who are in front of you, what kind of a, a pronoun is that? Antunna. What is it? Antunna. So what is the verb? Maza turudna. Turudna. Ya banat. Ya banatu. Now Aisha is saying, Ya abati, O oh my father. Now watch this. Ishtaraita. What is the meaning of ishtaraita? You bought. You purchased. Ya abati. Try to say it together. Antashtaraita. Li for me. Melafan. What is Melafan? File. File folder. Huh? Melafan Kabla Isbo in. Huh? A week ago. Okay. Uridul Ana. I need now. I want now. Melafan Akhara. What is Akhara? Not. What is it? Not. Huh? Now, this again we are going to study in detail. Huh? Akharu means other. But this is masculine. What is the feminine of this, brothers and sisters? Ukhra. Are you with me, brother? Akharu is diptot. Akharu is diptot. Okay, decline, decline, akharu, akhara, and again, akhara. Decline, ukhara, 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 ukhara. It will be same. How do you grammatically explain it? We'll do it in book three. It will become too much now if we try to go in further detail. But only remember one thing, brothers and sisters, that Akharu is masculine and it comes as a Naat. Huh? And Ukhra is a feminine, it comes as a Naat and the meaning is other. So, Urid wal Ana, Milafan, Milafan is Mansub, so Akhara is a Naat, Mansub. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? And the key has beautiful explanation. Now it comes to singular. Anti. Maza turi dina anti hafsa. Dr. Abdurrahim is remembering you. Hafsa. Maza turi dina anti. What is hafsa saying? Uridu hakibatan. I need a bag. Okay, brothers and sisters. Hakibatan. Huh? Are you with me? 
Now comes our colors for masculine and feminine. Very interesting. Ama in the ki hakibatun? Don't you have a handbag? What is the answer? Bala. Yes, indeed. In the hakibatun. Hamrau. Hamrau. So what happened here, brother? For colors, there is a pa- pattern. What is the pattern for masculine, brothers and sisters? Afalu. And what is the pattern for feminine? See, in both cases, there is a single dhamma. So that is diptote. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, if you were to say ahmara, it will become hamrau. Huh? Are you with me? I'll write down again. Huh? Let's try to do something. Ah. Ahmaru will become hamrau. Are you with me, brother? Aswadu, as, vadu will become savdahu. It's very easy if you follow the pattern. Savdahu. Huh? Akhdaru, green. What will it will change to? Khadrahu. Khadrahu. All is in the key. Very beautifully explained. Nobody can explain better than Dr. Abdurrahim himself. So, in the Hakibatun Hamrahu, I have a red handbag. Uridu hakibatan ukhra. I want another handbag. And what's the color of that? Sauda. Ah. Huh? Because it is mansub. Sauda. Ah. Huh? Okay. Now swad is being addressed. Maza turidina ya swad. In the mistaratun. Sagiratun. What is Mistaratun? Ruler. Huh? Huh? Uridu. I want Ukhra. What is the meaning of Ukhra? Another. I want another Kabiratan. And I want another big one. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Is it clear? Inshallah. Huh? Now, Layla is coming there. Maza turidina anti ya Layla. Remember, anti is only for emphasis. Huh? Because if you say maza turidina, then ya is already anti. Ya is already anti. And brother, turidina, how will you define turidina? Fe'alun, udariun, marfu'un. Marfu'un, bi thubuti nun. And where is the file? Ya. Brother and sister, remember, when we conjugate, from Madi to Mudariya, uh, which is Yuridu, Yuridani, Yuriduna, Turidu, Turidani, Yuridna, these are all Marfu. They are all Marfu. Huh? So do not get confused. The, the base form is all Marfu in Mudariya. And then it changes as we add something in front of the verb. Or if the sentence has to change it itself, we are going to learn this in book three when we do conditional sentences. Brothers and sisters, when we will do conditional sentences in book three, it will blow your mind. Honestly, it blew my mind. Because when you read the Quran, now it will come in a way you will understand. 
why the fail is majizum, you know, and there are about ten percent of the sentences in the Quran can be, you know, linked to conditional sentences, and, and you will be surprised. Huh? You will be surprised that how much we have to learn, and once we learn, how much we will appreciate and feel happy about it. The, the best example that hit me of conditional sentence was, you know, وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرٍ يَرَى No, if you go and read it properly, it says man. What does it say? Man. And what is after man? What is the verb? Ya'mal. Oh, why? Why ya'mal? Why majizum? It's majizum. Why? This is what we are going to learn in book three. All of it. Okay? So here, the man was there which made the fair mudaria into majizum. Look at it carefully, this sentence at home. And you will see it, brother. <coughs> Inshallah. So you'll see that there's so much to learn and understand. Okay? And these conditional sentences are beautiful, beautiful sentences. Inshallah, we'll learn them. Okay. So here we are, brothers and sisters. Maza turidin anti ya layla. What is the answer? Uridu mushafan. Za again za. Hurufin kabiratin. What is this, brothers and sisters? I need a copy of the Quran with big font, with large font. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Large font, big letters, huh? fonts. Huh? These days, our children are into computers, so they know fonts. You know, ama shayyan ya salma. How will you translate? Don't you want anything? Ama turidina shayyan. Ya Salma, what is the answer? Bala, yes indeed. Uridu mo jaman. I need a dictionary. What kind of a dictionary? Inclusion. I want English dictionary. Wa akhara and another one. Akhara, mansub. Mautufun ala. Mu'ajaman, huh? Francian. Now Al-Abu is saying, Ama turidu ummuki shayyan? Si turidu, because she is absent. So third person, huh? here. Ama turidu ummuki shayyan? Doesn't your mother want something? What is the answer? Ma adri. I don't know. Uh, as aluha, what is the meaning of it? Uh, as aluha, no, shall I ask her? Uh, as aluha, shall I ask her? What is the answer? Naam. And what is the sentence after that? Is aliha. What is is ali? Failu amrin. Uh, what is it? Fialu Amarin, huh? it is to a feminine who's who's being given this Amar. Is Ali ha? Ask her. So is Ali Fialu Amarin Mabniun ala Hazafi Noon. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Where is the file? Ya is the file. Huh? Huh? What was the original verb form? Thus, Alina. What was it? Maybe I should write down. Okay, brothers and sisters. How do I make it now Amar? And I give here. So what is this now? Fellow Amarin. Mabniun ala 
hazfi noon huh? and then ya is your file and what is this mafulun bihi huh? Huh? ha goes to the mother huh? is aliha ask her okay 